Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and today I want to answer the question that I keep getting asked, or challenges even being put forward by people saying, Jason, why don't you max? What is your max? Why don't you test your max? Why don't you train your max? I want to see what you can lift these days when you're talking about other people. So let me put on my plus five out of weaponsmithing, work on skill up my crafting a little bit, and let's talk about that. Why don't I max? Uh, because I'm in the middle of cutting. And I'm actually successfully cutting, and I think at this point people can see the difference in my face. I've definitely showed weigh-ins. Uh, you guys know I've been 250 not that long ago. Showed a weigh-in at 229, still wearing work boots. So I'm less than that, but since I started the weigh-ins with the work boots on, I'm finishing the weigh-ins with the work boots on. Uh, I've maintained all of my strength. I'm maintaining size. I've got a viable game plan. And that's kind of the whole point. You know, people will come in sometimes when they see someone being successful. Uh, what they love to do, and all of you need to remember this. You need to remember this. And when you're talking about people being haters, hater is someone who uh, doesn't always hate the way that you think they do. Someone who's a hater will come in and see you being successful. You don't have to be somebody on the internet. It could be somebody at your gym. It could be one of your friends. They see you working successfully towards a goal. You have a game plan. And some there are some people who don't like to see other people being successful at something. Maybe they don't really like you. And to sabotage that, they will throw things at you like, why don't you do this? Why, you need to do this. No, no, you need to do that. This is where you're weakest, where you're messed up. They'll come in and mess with you in the middle of a successful game plan. And sometimes when you're training hard or you're dieting strict or anything else is going on, you can be uh, more influenced by these things. And there are people who thrive on that. They thrive on messing people up. Hell, even Arnold Schwarzenegger used to do that to his competitors. You guys remember Pumping Iron? He would talk about that, of messing people up. And that's exactly what something like that is. Everyone at this point who, who follows me or watches me even remotely knows I'm in the middle of uh, successfully cutting. I have a game plan. I'm working on my fatigue management. You want to know what would mess me up big time? Because there are people continually trying to get in my head and mess me up all the time. The thing is, you've got to learn to block those people out. Uh, because you know what? That's how you get messed up from a goal. Uh, you want to see me get messed up? Let me overtrain. Let me hurt myself. That'll uh, slow a cut real fast, won't it? I think everyone agrees with that. When you're losing body fat, working on losing body fat, uh, how fast is your, your fat loss going to slow down if you tear something, if you pull something, if you injure something, particularly something in your lower body, there goes your cardio. Start working on your max deadlift, peaking your max deadlift when you're not getting enough calories to maintain your body weight. What do you think happens? Higher injury rates. You pull a hamstring. Let's say you're cutting, or like I'm cutting right now. I pull a hamstring because I want to show off and impress people, right? Because uh, I say, well, these guys are saying I'm, I'm weak pussy. I better go show them. You guys already know I know how to build strength. You guys know what I've lifted all through the past on YouTube. You guys know that I'm maintaining just fine now. So someone wanting to do that wants to get under my skin. They want to mess with me. You know what the whole purpose of doing that is? So that I get injured. Because if I get injured, my cut's going to get messed up, isn't it? Then I, my uh, outreach won't grow. People will be able to continue to say, Jason, look, you're a failure. You're failing right there. You failed your cut. And that's exactly the sort of strategy that people use throwing stuff like that. I mean, I'm sure up next uh, Strap on Destiny or someone will challenge me to a deadlift challenge. Don't care. Don't care. And the reason is I have a game plan. And you know what? People already know I know how to get strong. The thing that people always argue is Jason can't get lean, right? Isn't that... One of the biggest criticisms, Jason can't get lean, he can't follow through, he can't do cardio. Well, I'm down 21 pounds with a successful game plan and I'm blocking out everyone who tries to give me advice or challenges or anything that could possibly interfere with that goal. I'm cutting people out of my life now who might interfere with that goal. Why? Because that's something I know that I need to do to be successful and other people will mess you up. Now people will say, well, well why would that mess you up? Why, what's the point? Well, um, like I said, I'm cutting. All of my fatigue management is wrapped up in how much training can I get away with, which means really only two relatively heavy sessions a week, one or two uh, smaller accessory sessions. That's it. Moderately heavy weight. Uh, you know what? I can maintain my size and my strength doing work sets with 500-pound deadlifts. Uh, work sets with 185 pound overhead presses 
eight rep sets of dead hang chin ups at home, which I do almost every day, you know what? Yeah, can I do more than eight chin ups? Yeah, of course I can. If when I go close to muscle failure, I stop at seven or eight reps. I'll do like three sets of eight. Some days, if I'm feeling particularly strong, four sets of eight. You know what? That's enough to maintain my size. Same thing. I can do four or five reps on a conventional deadlift without a belt. Maintain my forearm size, my back size, my hamstring size. Overhead pressing, so my accessories, that's enough to maintain everything. And it's working. Why mess with success? The thing is, uh, that's all the fatigue management I've got because the rest of my fatigue management is wrapped up into getting enough sleep. Because again, sleep can affect energy. It can affect energy turnover. It will affect your cutting. It will affect your recovery, muscle retention, and doing cardio. The majority of my training energy is wrapped up in doing cardio because cardio burns the most calories. Cardio helps you burn the most fat. The so weight training is there just to maintain my muscle and strength. I don't have fatigue management. I don't have recovery to peak. In fact, I don't even worry about neural efficiency. Now, I don't even do doubles and triples right now. Why? Because my neural efficiency doesn't matter. I can retrain that at any time. I can retrain peak strength at any time. Five rep sets, eight rep sets, uh, those hold on to muscle mass better. They hold on to muscle without fatiguing my nervous system. Then my nervous system doesn't have to be fatigued. I don't have to worry about that. Uh, and by not maxing and working on peak strength, I also don't have to worry about injury rates. Because when you are losing body fat, or particularly your cross training, like doing the amount of cardio I'm doing, um, injury rates start going up from lifting very, very heavy. So that, I'm pretty well capping myself right now. I'm not going over 500 pounds on a deadlift. I'm not. I'm not going over about 180, 190 on overstanding presses. I'm not doing that. I could, I could, but then I'll burn out. Then I'm at a higher risk of injury. I pull a hamstring. I pull a tricep. How's that going to affect my cut? Again, you've got to set your goals. You've got to understand when you're setting goals of grabbing those goals and breaking them off in bite-sized chunks. And sometimes uh, breaking those goals off and focusing on this while you let this sit and maintain and working on those individual goals in order of priority importance, sometimes you've got to set your ego to the side. You've got to set it to the side. And of course, yeah, now that I've said that and everyone knows that's what I'm doing now, it's going to be other YouTubers are going to try to challenge me to stuff. You know what? I don't care. My challenge right now is to finish what I'm doing. My challenge right now is to get down to 220, then 210, then 200. All right? Because you want to see something that will be different than I've ever done, let me drop 50 pounds and maintain my strength. I'm a 40-year-old man. I'm decently strong. Am I the strongest guy on YouTube? No, never claims to be. And I really hope no one thinks that I've said that. But if I can keep the strength I have, keep the muscle I have, and lose 50 pounds, I think that'll shut some people up. That will shut haters up. And you know what? It's not just about shutting haters up. It's about me saying, you know what? I'd be so much healthier if I did that. Am I running a fitness channel or am I running a powerlifting channel? This is a fitness channel. Now, if I get down to a fairly lean level, decent abs, everything else, uh, but I've done it with cardio, with clean eating, not really restricting very, uh, food too much, uh, a good balanced whole food diet, doing lots of cardio, doing weight training, and I use that to get lean, isn't that healthy? I'm promoting people eat their fruits and vegetables, promote people to do cardio to get leaner, burn, do extra physical activity, now that's fitness. Uh, my heart's going to be better for it. My health is going to be better for it. My outreach will be better for it. And my ability to help people will be better for it. Everybody wins. Everybody wins if I do this other than the people who hate me and want to see me fail. They're the only people who don't win. And you know what? Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Some of them might even come around at that point. Because if people's only excuse for hating me is, oh, he's fat and uh, he's not lean and he's out of shape and doesn't know how to cut, if that's the reason for hating me and then I do it, you have to come around and say, okay, okay, this guy's not as bad as I thought he was. They might still hate me. They'll probably hate me a little less.
But at the end of the day, you know what? It's not just about doing that for other people. It's about doing it for myself. My mother died at 48 of a heart attack. All right? My father's had three heart attacks. This runs in my family. Doing a bunch of cardio to get lean, to maintain a healthy body weight, probably a real damn good idea. Just saying. It's probably in my best interest. E even if it had nothing to do with anybody else, just me, uh, I could be adding 15 or 20 years to my lifespan, improving my quality of life by doing this. So, uh, if I have any sense, like I said, I'm 40 years old. My mother died at 48 of a heart attack. Uh, again, that sort of stuff can be a wake-up call. When I've stepped back and assessed it, that's a wake-up call. I can't be walking around at 230, 240, 250. Uh, just not a good idea. But I can get down to 200. I can get down to 200, then, then I can go back and focus in on being strong. Then I can do some interesting feats of strength. Then let's see how much I can deadlift. Maybe I'll start learning to power clean properly and go work on some power clean tech. Maybe even go get an Olympic coach to teach me how to uh, power clean better. Work on maybe uh, really strong clean and presses, clean and front squats. Do some real strength stuff. Not the sort of gimmicky bullshit you see people doing these days. Maybe focus on some real strength, some real fitness, some real athleticism. Maybe then I'll get further into more GPP work. You know, that's the whole thing. I don't know exactly what all I'm going to do, where I'm going to take it. Those are just ideas, and you know what? Those can change at any moment. But the point is, me getting leaner, me getting down to 200 pounds is probably the best thing I could possibly do for my health. It's the best thing I could possibly do for my outreach. Uh, so why in the world would I do something stupid like go and let my ego get in the way and go test my maxes, start working on my maxes just because people think that I should. Mm -mm. Uh, in fact, if I did that, I'd pretty much be a moron, wouldn't I? I think we could all agree there. I don't want to be a moron. Not on my list of goals. So, that's why I'm not maxing out. I have other priorities at the moment. I can always go back and do that later. That could be a future goal. Alright guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I will talk to you guys next time.